We'll take a quick break and talk about titling a trailer in North Carolina. Um, this comes up a lot of issues because a lot of trailers don't have titles or lost titles. In my opinion, if you don't have a title to a trailer, you feel like you bought it from a reliable source, you don't feel like it's stolen, um, the title just didn't get transferred through exchanging hands, the state really only cares that you are uh paying taxes on it that's all they care they don't care who's paying them as long as they're paying them so if you can't find the title and you want to register this as a homemade trailer you built it um you go to the dmv and you get a homemade trailer title registration form it'll come with a pre uh assigned serial number and it'll tell you to stamp it in the rear axle and in the front left uh, portion of the trailer frame. When I was building trailers to kind of make them theft proof, I guess you could say, I would always stamp up here on top of the axle. And here's the reason being. See how much room you got in between here and the board? There's a couple inches there. Stamp it in the top. And then when you put boards on it, the only way you'll be able to see it is if you have a mirror, all right? But that also means that if somebody steals this trailer and they're trying to hide it, one, they're gonna look really hard to find it, but two, in order to get rid of it, they're gonna have to be pretty clever on how to do it without ripping the boards up. They're gonna have to rip the boards up to get to it. If they're lightly stamped, they might get sandpapered away, but I would always stamp, that way I have an outline and then I take a Dremel tool and I would dig it in there nice and deep. That way you couldn't get rid of it really easy. Um, same thing up front, not this one, but the last trailer I did, the title got lost. It was from a out of business. The business uh, closed down and the trailer and all the belongings got sold off to cover expenses at an auction. And the trailer, they could not find the title to the trailer, so the auction people sold it. So I bought the trailer, didn't have a title. Um, it did have serial numbers on it. The serial numbers vanished. I went and got a homemade trailer title. I come back, I stamped it right where the old one vanished from. Um, I did put new boards on it. So it looked like it was a, not really new. You could tell it wasn't a new trailer, but it had been redone. Um, and I went to the DMV inspections office so when you go to the dmv you don't just uh, license plate portion you go over to license and theft agency and an agent actually comes out and looks at the trailer so like i said what i did is i stamped the uh serial number in the axle i took a picture of it before i put the boards on and i stepped the one up front and dremeled them out nice and deep so i went in i told the lady this is what i'm trying to do she came out, she said, this is it. I said, yes, ma'am. Uh, she said, you got everything, your serial numbers on it are good. I said, yes, ma'am, it's right here. And she didn't even really go look at the trailer. I said, I have the ones for the rear axle. Here's the image on my phone. If you just, you know, she wasn't really, really looking for it. Um, but yeah, I showed it to her. She said, cool. She signed the paperwork, we walked back in. Then I went over to the uh, license plate side and got them to finish all the paperwork for me and walked out that day with a license plate. So like I said, I feel like they more so are looking for somebody to pay taxes on it. They don't really care as long as you don't look like you stole the trailer. The person I bought this trailer from, he was in Raleigh and I don't know how far in depth his inspection was. Uh, everything's worse in Raleigh, I can tell you that. Um, I'm over here in Eastern North Carolina, so you know we're a little more laid back. Um, still a big city, but a little more laid back than Raleigh. So I don't know what his, uh, I don't know what his experience was. He made it sound like it was a lot, but he said he had to go to a second time to the license and theft. I don't something about the serial number maybe wasn't stamped good enough. I don't remember. But he said he took two trips. They ended up passing it, like I said. So and this trailer was titled this was a custom built trailer for somebody else he did the same thing he stamped in a uh a different homemade serial number and they passed it so like i said if they really just want somebody to pay taxes on it they want you to be legal so you're trying to do the right thing be legal on it pay your taxes 
as long as you don't look sketchy the trailer looks decent they're gonna pass you it's a pretty easy process it's not that hard to do um i know a lot of people are scared they're gonna get in trouble for doing it and they all over the internet on different forums talking about well you can go register in another state it's free yada yada, yada and switch it back over for a trailer it's not that hard for a vehicle dmv yeah uh titles on vehicles and dmvs are ridiculous in north carolina absolutely ridiculous but as far as trailers go it's not bad here in north carolina so people having issues especially uh guys in north carolina buying trailers from south carolina because they don't require them to register trailers so when you buy it from somebody in south carolina i've got a couple of them actually i've got two um that came from south carolina i've got no title to them because they were never required to register them actually i got one trailer that came from georgia to a guy in south carolina so it's possibly registered in georgia um, i'm not dealing with it. i don't use the trailer it came in a package deal like i said it's a pretty easy process thought i'd take equipment and do a video on it because it's not really covered and it pertains more towards north carolina so figured i could help y'all out hope y'all enjoyed the video catch you on the next one